Thank you, Martin. Um, so uh, I'm here to uh, try to make people aware of a project that's been going on at Microsoft for a little over a year. Um, we're trying to uh, take tools from this community and bring them to the, the real world and impact real elections in a real way, have um, much better integrity and verifiability in elections. So um, what we're doing in particular is we are building a free open source toolkit. Um, it's going to be uh, released next month, actually, or at least the first version next month um, on GitHub. Uh, and it will um, allow vendors to take this code and build cryptographically verifiable, end-to-end -end verifiable elections. Um, we are releasing a detailed specification that allow anyone to look at exactly what, what's going on, um, do black box verification again of, of the artifacts of an election, make sure it's all right. Um, and we've already built one prototype to show how this can be done. Uh, we may build one, one or two more. Um, one thing I want to make very clear, this is something that Microsoft is not selling in any way. This is free to anybody. We're not building election systems. We're trying to work with the existing community of vendors and whatnot and say, here's something that you could really use. Please use it. We'll, we'll show you how. Um, we have many partners in this project. Um, Galois in Portland is doing most of the development work. Uh, Columbia University is an important partner. And most of the major vendors in the US have signed up as partners and agreed to, to, to look at this and try it out. Um, and not just the U.S. We're, we're talking to vendors uh, worldwide. There, there does seem to be a lot of interest, so we're very encouraged about this. Um, just to give a sense of some, some of what's going on, showing what's in here, um, we're using uh, threshold Elgamal um, encryption, um, doing homomorphic tallying of votes. Yes, I know homomorphic was a, a bad word to put in a... In, in, a, in a talk, uh, if you want to get a paper accepted, but it's easier in the rum session, right? Um, we have things that are full of interactive proofs. Basically, most of the work is proving that encrypted votes are well-formed, that they're all zeros and ones, the right number of zeros and ones. So we've got Schnorr proofs of uh, possession of secret keys corresponding to the public keys, We've got Sean Pedersen proofs of correct de decryption. We've got CDS proofs to do disjunctions so that you can prove that something is a zero or one without proving which. Fiat Shamir is everywhere in this. You know, you know, lots of tools that are very familiar. Nothing that new, um, but it's taking this and making it sort of production quality, getting it really used. Um, I want to just say a, a little bit about some of the design principles that we're using here. Because first of all, we decided to build a very simple API, and it turned out to be surprisingly clean, not a lot of configuration, try to make it so that there's not a lot to screw up. Um, we also uh, have the principle that we're writing this code once, but we expect, we hope, that there will be hundreds, maybe thousands of people who write election verifiers, little election verifier apps, and I'll say a little bit more about how. So some of the, the design decisions that this triggers is we're using integer Elgamal, not elliptic curves, because we want like first-year programming students to be able to do this from first principles very easily, build a verifier. Um, also, just you know, as an example, you know, we could say we've got you know, some property of A divided by B mod N that you want to verify. No, too hard. Then you have to implement the extended Euclidean algorithm. We'll provide C. You check that A equals bc mod n, and then you can check that c has that property, just to make it as simple as we can for, for people to implement. I, you know, I know, it's a little thing, but, but that, that's the kind of thing we're working on. Um, so um, the first version of this code is going to be released uh, next month on GitHub. Here's the URL. Feel free to come talk to me about it. Um, we're trying to get the, the spec out um, as early as next week, um, if I can get off the stage and get this finished. Um, send comments to me. We want as much open review as possible. And um, as projects for your students, um, you know, writing a little election verifier might be a one or two week class project or you know, maybe a little independent study for the early ones where it might be a little harder and the documentation isn't quite there yet. We're trying to get it there. But you know, this is a nice little crypto project for people to do.
hope, hope you're interested. Hope we'll be using this.